Hello everybody, it's Jennifer with creativecricutdesigns.blogspot.com and we're going to be making another Christmas layout today. And this is the paper pack that I'm using. It's by My Mind's Eye and it's Countdown to Christmas. I'm using this one right here and this one right here. So we're going to go ahead and get started. I have the 12 by 12 layout. I use the Jolly Holidays Cricut cartridge. And what I'm going to start out with is my banner that says Noel and that's going to go in the upper right hand left hand corner and I'm going to go ahead and adhere the pieces um, for that and the title or the banner is cut at three and a half inches can't wait to show you guys what I did with this layout. I think it's really neat. So as soon as I get this attached, and like on these you could um, use your cuddle bug and some embossing folders if you want just to kind of dress it up a little bit. Um, but I'm just trying to do some sim simple layouts, you know, that don't take a lot of time or you know, that still look good but are very simple to do. Okay. So that's going to go about there. I am going to end up cutting these two pieces off. And, oops. But I want to at least give you some idea of what what we're working with here. So I have a four and a quarter. Actually, this is probably the red is four and a half by six and a half, and then it goes down a quarter inch from there. So this piece um, is four by six. Then we're going to have another photo here, but before we do that, I cut out the three Christmas bulbs um, that it shows on there, and I'm going to have them kind of dangling on here. I do have to do some trimming and whatnot first, well, once we get it all set up here. This is actually going to lay on the top of them. So before I attach anything, I'm going to attach the bulbs. I did go ahead and I used some um, stickles. I used frosted lace, um, just a green, and then I used Christmas red and black diamond to kind of dress up my Christmas bulbs. So what we're going to do is we're going to kind of get these where we want them. And I took the red twine and the green twine. And I made little bows and everything, but what we're going to do is we're going to get it laid out on here, right about where we want it. And I have some pop dots that I'm going to use on the back of the bulb. I'm just going to use one. So we're going to adhere that right where we want it, again right about there. And then we're going to put some tape on here. I think I'm going to do it like that. And then we're going to go to our next one. And these little ones will trim down once we get closer to the end. And this one I think I want up a little bit higher. So we'll put the pop that on the back and the stickles and everything is already dry I worked on this yesterday okay so it's gonna look like that and then our next one it's gonna be uh oh It's just been an extra piece. I was like, oh no, something fell apart, but it didn't. So that's good. And then our next one is going to go down here like this. And then we're going to stretch it. Well, first, we got to put a pop dot to hold it in place. 
Okay. And then we gotta be kind of careful so we don't rip the top off. Because it's just that little bitty piece. And I got my twine stuck to my pop dot. Okay. And then we're gonna pull it down. Hoping that when I have this close enough to the edge and everything, that my picture will cover it. Yep, right like that. So then what we're going to do is we're going to flip it over and we're going to attach all of our twine in the back. Just to kind of hold it all in place. And I used red, and then green, and then red. And then for the bows, I used the opposite color. So if the twine is red for this piece, then I used green for the bow. Okay. One second. Okay, so we've got those on there, and we're going to go ahead um, and secure our photo mat on there. And I'm probably going to use a lot of adhesive on this because it's going over so much twine and stuff. I want it to stay on there. I don't want it to come off. Oops. Okay. And this is uh, four and a half by four and a half and I'm just going to cover up where I have the tape so make sure it's even find my tape and then apply it okay and then we're going to trim our ends to our twine Just like that. Okay, and then we'll get our other piece on there, and that's gonna probably go directly on my layout. I'm gonna use Scotch Quick Dry. Just like that, you know, I'll be cutting off the ends and some of it, so I don't want to go all the way across. So it's going to sit on there like that. And then we'll give that some time to dry, and then I'll snip the ends off. Okay. And we'll put our other photo mat on, and it'll be done. Yet another simple layout, which a lot of us like simplicity, you know, and still looks, you know, nice or elegant or whatever, so. Okay, and then I'll get my scissors out, my paper scissors, and we'll snip those pieces right off. Okay, so that is layout number four, I believe. Okay, and I have the um, Christmas bulb is this one is cut at two and three quarters, this one is cut at two and a half, and this one is cut at two and three quarters. The Noel is cut at three and a half. This red mat is four and a half by six and a half. The blue mat is going to be four and a quarter by six and a quarter, and this one is going to be four by six. Over here you have four and a half by four and a half for the red mat, 
four and a quarter by four and a quarter for the blue mat and four and by four for the pattern mat. So thank you very much for watching and have a great day.